Hello, good morning. This is a new class of science. Uh, the lesson, today's lesson is the unit 11, lesson 2. How does the ocean water move? Go to the page 505 and let's start the class now. Okay, first, the adjectives of the class is understand how the ocean waves form and identify what causes the currents and tides. The next object is explain how ocean waves and currents shape the store. The lesson vocabulary is wave, current, tide, shore, and jetty. Okay, that's how we start. And what is this picture about? Remember the topic is how does the ocean water move? And this particular form or this particular movement of the water is called a wave. Okay, that's the ocean, how they look like the waves in the ocean and but how they really waves form. Okay, first le, we need to understand what is up this. Okay. Oh what is a wave? Is the the up and down movement. Let's look at this. That's the circular motion and it's not exactly a circular motion, it's like a oval motion. This motion uh, the, on the surface is the highest than the bottom of the, of the ocean. At the bottom of the wave, the bottom of the wave, the slow most, look at here, the bottom of the wave is slow more, the slows most than the top is. How would it look like a wave, the structure of the wave? The wave is the up and down moment of the surface water. What it is a really has a really energy. Only two percent of the energy of the of the waves of the ocean or the waves of motion is can be enough for supply all the energy in the planet. But we only take a little piece of this energy. Okay, the waves of are are really higher energy. And remember at the top has the motion, the highest motion, yet the bottom has the slowest motion. And uh, this point has, uh, if you see numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, the five is the circular motion. The number four is in this case the crest, is the top of the, the wave. And the number three is the, let's watch here. Okay, that's a part of the wave. The part of the wave, if you see here, the wave crest is the top of the wave. And the wave throw is the bottom of the wave. The sea level is when the ocean is in calm, don't have any air, when movement on the surface. Okay, the amplitude of the whole height or whole uh, go low to the sea level. Okay, that's another wave. But what makes a wave? Most waves are caused by wind and can grow in size according to many conditions. The speed of the wind, how long the wind blows, and how far the distance of the wind uh, the wind blows. That's how the makes a wave has depending on these conditions. Okay. If you see here, the motion, the, the wave motion is influenced by the deep of the shape of the shoreline. The shoreline is this part of the, the beach, the shoreline. Okay, remember, then the, the surface height of the low, the highest motion of the wave land. The wavelength is where this move, uh, the wavelength is the distance from crest to crest. Okay, when the the wave hit to the shore, look at this, the motion of the waves to change, and that's break the wave, break the wave, and that, that's made the waves in here, and, this, and it's perfect for surfing to this part. If you see this surf, surf zone, and that's where the, the weight is breaking this part that's this good place to serve a good sun 
to start surfing here. It's a good place. Remember, the surface waves is are caused by wind. All this surface weight, the surface the wind motion, the water motion is causing by the winds, and that they pushing against the surface of the water. Okay, something important too is the waves constantly affect the shoreline. Remember, waves constantly. They constantly affect the shoreline. The shoreline, how they affect? They even are gentle the waves. The uh, the waves can be gentle. Don't destroy or do anything to the to the shoreline. But in another case, uh, the waves erode the rock and transport. They erode the rock and transport all the the weathering rock to the ocean as a uh, sand. That's more then transport the sand to one place to another the rock is weathering and they breaking the waves are breaking of breaking all the rocks here and all this particle moves through the ocean and this not only affect the, the shoreline if you live to have a house on the sh on the beach all uh, can be destroyed but too we have a uh, two different uh, tidal waves when the waves are in a um, high tide or in a low tide can affect according if you have a storm in a storm the tide is high and can be cause a damage and a normal tide this is an example where it is a normal tide but it's a tide with a, made by the storm it's a high tide and can be passed more than this normal sea level. This is the mean sea level. This normally in this, the water is normally at this level. Now you need to follow this part in the book, 507 in the page. Go and identify the cause and effect of this uh, the blocks. You have to identify the cause and the first and the third block and the fourth block you need to explain the effect of the ear can winds and waves okay uh we're going to see this is like a picture you have in the the page 506 and 7 uh, the mode on the ocean wind affects a lot of things outside the ocean okay answer this question the moment the moment of ocean water affect a lot of things outside the ocean. What are some things that happen because of the ways ocean water moves? Okay, answer this part. It's on the page five hundred five. Okay, the the water, the energy in the in the waves is not only destructive. This is not gonna destroy. This this is not. Don't imagine this is a house. This is the power. A hydrolytic power conversion plants they take the energy from the waves and transform to an energy to the our house a, a, a hydroelectric power okay that's an energy converter that's produce energy for the wave of the of the the wave the motion the wave Okay, that's a positive example how the technology for this device improve and will produce an, an electricity to us. Energy in waste can be converted into electrical energy and this electric energy can provide a steady source of electricity since the wave motion never stops. Okay, now we're going to the next page 508 go with the flow the ocean current is a steady flow in water in a regular part in the ocean that's all what's in during the year that's moving the water the water into the ocean and the current it's a continuous flow of water in the regular part in the ocean 
The ocean currents have predictable effect and some even have names. For example, the Gulf Stream is a warm water, is a warm water Atlantic Ocean current that flows through the south to the north along the east coast of North America. Steady winds, uh, temperature, and water salinity. The shade of both ocean floor and, and shoreline. That they played a role in driving the currents. This, the war is the red color here. Look here, start from here. All the war current is moving and then transform to the cool surface flow. Soft surface, sorry. The surface is uh, warmer and they move to the bottom and form the cool soft surface surface flow and then moving it up again that's how the current flows ocean current can have predictable effects for example the gulf stream and warm atlantic ocean the water from runs from the south and to the north along the east coast of north america told you this part here the warm gulf stream has made the weather in Europe warmer than other places that are as far north. Look at this part that to here. Okay, let's go. Uh, you need to draw a diagram and of the Gulf Stream. Let's go to the page page uh, five hundred sixteen. For the next homework, you have to complete, not today, you only have to watch the presentation, 516. If you see the page 508, you have exactly the same picture, water that is steady flows outward from the shore again to the direction of the coming wind is called a rip current. Oh, careful with the rip here, current because they can push, pull you up to the ocean and you can, it's like a trap. That you can go out from there okay that's happened that this if you see there's a cow that's a cow place that then that usually when the different current change the different wave current change the moment and the current of the wave change that cow makes its rip current you can uh, spot a rip current as a small gap you can spot it. This is a um, smooth gap or rip in a regular part of the wave. It doesn't have any regular part of just that's moving in the water without any wave. That's really dangerous to be here. In some cases, according to the shore, it's a deep shore. All the floor of the, this part of the beach is, is uh, it's deep. You can draw. Careful here. Okay, water steadily flowing from the shore against common wind. It's called a bit current. Okay, now you need to draw arrows to show the direction of the water flow into the, the red current. It's in the page 509. Okay, uh, now go with the flow. This is in the same page. Sometimes the water in the Pacific Ocean gets unusually warm. Uh, the sun, the producing the climate of pattern called El Nino. And an, an El Nino season disrupt normal weather pattern, causing a strict weather such as drought and floating, throwing it, uh, thrown out the world and uh, the different region of the world. Okay, this phenomenon happens when the water of the Pacific Ocean warms and this warm and water comes here to the currents that's called uh, El Nino. Okay, the turning tides. The turning, turning tides go to page 510. What is the turning tide if you see on this picture? And uh, what you see the difference? What happened in this case? And then this, they have uh, in this case you have a low tide, 
And another here, it's a high tie. Look at the turning tie. This is the chain in front of low, uh, highest and highest and lowest tie. Let me change this. Okay, let's go to turning time now. Comparing cons of the shoreline images on this page, I'll tell you on this moment. And now, what happened to these images? It's the same at the beginning. If you see the tide, it's a high tide, and another is a low tide. And the higher water level and the bulk is produce a high tide. And what is a tide? A tide. In this case, if you see the tide, the tide is um, the tide are caused by the pull of the sun and the moon in the Earth's ocean. The moon is has an attractive force that pulls all the water to him and producing a the tide. We have the two different tides. The spring tide you see here, the spring and the nip type the spring time is when the the moon and the earth and the sun is aligned on this point here is the spring time is the highest tide level and the not too high high the lowest level and is here when the when the moons form like a L with the earth and and the sun that is a uh, Neat on this point. Here is a neat type on this point, and here it's a neat type. It's not a strain, it's not a, a, a line up. It's to here form like an L. Look, do you see the L? Okay, and the water levels on the ocean rise and falls in a circle and cycle called a tide. That is a tide. This is the attraction of the water level to and to the moon or to the sun in this case. Mm, the tide are caused by the pull of the sun and moon on Earth's oceans. Okay, this is another the example where you have a low tide. Look at this, the low white here from this point is a low tide because there is no any attraction to the ocean and the moon because there is no moon here when you have a moon on this point or whatever you have at the moon you have a high high tide okay, okay, okay. the moon is gravity pulls on air repulsing into bulges the form in the air ocean okay these bulges are here when the high tide is produced by the attraction of the moon here is another bulge the bulges are here when the second bulge that's attracting the sun this attraction of this the, sorry the attraction of the moon this i'm sorry this is the sun the sun is attracting to and the moon has another attraction that's a high tide there's a high tide too there's a low tide because there is any attraction for neither sun or moon let's go to higher water level in the bulges produce on a high tide the lower water level and low tide occurs between the bulges this is a between the bulges are here the low tide the low tide okay and this is how the turning the tide if you see here in the picture and when you have this point the neat tide there is no light high tide but it's a high tide and it's another point here if you see has a neat tide the neat tide means you have a the high tide but the high tide is not too high uh, and this happens um, and when the moon is not in a line up when the in this case when it's strained aligned the strain when the moon here at the neat tide okay here okay at this point the sun the moon and the sun and the earth make a strain they align up they have a strain line all this are aligned and they have the highest the highest tide in the cold we call like a spring tide and here is not too high but it had a high tide and they call a neat uh, neat tide 
that's a neat tie here. Okay, this is example two. The same that here, but in different images. Okay, when the earth and sun, the moon are in a straight line, they combine. Okay, the gravity. This here on this point, they have a highest gravity because not only the moon is attracting it, it's uh, even the moon and the sun is pulling, pulling an attraction on the water's surface that's made a, a high tide the highest sign is here at this point in the springtime in the springtime this play it, here is really high and okay that's a gravity attraction made the tides highest and lowest when the sun and air and moon are positioned like a L the difference between the level high tide and low tide is the smallest like this look at this this is not too high it's a little high okay the spring that's happening in the neat type they form an l shape okay uh that will really explain you how the tile this is a tidal budget budge that's that's a budget this is because for attraction of the moon and remember you have the moon and the sun had a highest attraction okay look at this what happened when the low tide the low tide makes the water is pulling to the water into the ocean and and the high tide the water push and they go uh, they increase the high level high sea level Okay, that's a low tide and high tide. Then increase uh, even on five meters or more. Okay, let's start another. This is the same example, but the has a, the position of the moon at this point has a name and a specific name. Uh, the here we call the okay first quarter we call this point, and here a full moon, and a new moon is on here next to the sun. And the third quarter is on the top. The third quarter moon we have an we yeah we have a neat tide as of the first quarter moon and the spring tide we have a full moon here and a new moon uh, that's in front of the sun had the highest tide. Okay, that's happening here. This line. The relative position of the moon and earth affect the height of tides. And turning the tide, it's the same like what I'm telling you here the straight line, and here when they form, that's a straight line, and here when they form an L. Okay, the weaker or neat tide happens when the sun moon air on the L shape. L shape. That's the, the neat or weaker tides. And the really high tide are all that's when they form on a straight line with the sun, of course. Okay, we saw this picture before the form spring in in mid time, and I hope you understand this lesson. And that's an image, that's an image how the sun, how the moon affect the ocean how the moon affect the, the water the ocean turning at tides turning high tide and low tide okay and you have to complete this in the book on the page 511 do by yourself you need to know look at this what is the amount of time from one high tide and to the next this is a high tide to the next you need to subtract what is the difference between two low tide you need to subtract the low tide what is the time span between the first and high tide and the low tide that follows remember from this time to this what is the time between the span time Okay, this is the next. It's changing shorelines. 
What is a shoreline? Shoreline is all this part of the beach. This. And what if you see the picture on this case, I have a, a lot of sand here and here, um, not too much. It's not a tie. That is the, the, the beach is losing the land or the sand. It's loosening here because the the ocean take the sand and move it another place and in some case put more sand in that place. Okay, the land on the edges of the ocean is called shore. This is a short, short. This here. Waves and ocean currents carry sand and a weight from the shore can take the sand or put the sand. And the same wind that drives the waves also caps the rock and cliff to water. Okay, that's the remember the the waves can uh, change the shoreline by the weather and the rock or carrying the sand and putting a weight from one place to another. The ocean can carry sand from beaches in a short time and a big storm can erode the beach in a day that's uh, the big effect of the hurricanes on the storm okay changing shorelines that's how the people change the shoreline that this is a jetty a jetty that's made the, the water can erode or move the sand from one place to another the jetty is a pile of rock if you see here is the pile of rocks that's it how like people can restore the beach by placing stabilizing the sand and building the structures that's a building a jetty it's a building a structure and a jetty is a structure often made of piles of rock and the current can the current here the water current of the ocean the current ocean can move can move those the sand or destroy the beach. The beaches. Uh, jetties preserve beaches and keep sand from accumulating and making waterways too shallow for boats. Boats. Okay. In some cases, when the when the sand is putting here more sand and more sand, it's more sand that's carrying the the ocean is carrying more sand and put into the beach. Uh, the boats can um, can sail in here. So that's another way to to preserve the beach. Okay, now that this is on the page 513 answer, you need to describe how the shoreline may different without the jetty. Remember the jetty preserve the shore. If you have this jetty that can be destroyed or modified by the water, the current, the ocean current by carry the sand or put more sand remember the first picture on this lesson okay we finished our presentation this is for the next class you need to do the sum it up and all the complete the pages okay we finished